Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome to Ooblitz, which is a wonderful, delightful, colourful game about collecting little creatures which are called Ooblitz, but also we shall be making friends, we're going to be living in a town, there's a spot of exploring, there's a little bit of farming, and also there's some dancing. Yes, there is dancing, because this game has dance-offs, so it's a game with farming and dancing. I mean, what not to like? So this game, I would say, if somehow Pokemon... Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley were to produce an offspring. I don't know how. It's probably best not to think about that sort of thing. But if they were able to, I would say the offspring would probably look a lot like Ooblitz. It's just very bright and vibrant and adorable and upbeat. And I just had to take a look at it because it just looks like all sorts of wonderful. It is currently in early access, so there may be some bugs and glitches and whatnot. But as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Epic Store page in the video description below if you want to go and check it out. But I think let's dive in, shall we? This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's just dive in and play ourselves some Ooblets. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is create our character. And I like the fact that it's asking this question here. It's not just saying, enter your name or what's your name. It's saying, what's your name, buddy? Spell it out. Okay, I will spell it out for you. The name is Penge. And the button doesn't just say done. Oh, absolutely not. It says done it, because when you click it, you know, it means you've done it. So there we go. I've done it. Hey there, Penge. How do you want to look? Okay. So we've got skin tones, hairdos, and hair colour. Um, skin tone, well, that, I mean, that's pretty accurate. We'll pick that one. Hairdo, I mean, I imagine that looks like the best kind of one. Yeah, that'll do. And then hair colour. I mean, really, it's a mixture of this one and this one. It's a little bit kind of salt and pepper, but um, we'll go for this one. We'll go for that there. So there we go. Right, so I am ready. Let's get you some clothes. Oh, that is wonderful. Look at that jumper. Look at that jumper, knitted by grandma only last week. Okay, that's wonderful. What else do we have? Okay, that's also excellent. I'm, I'm loving the bright yellow there. That is very good. Um, We've got ourselves a casual, kind of a casual number. Okay, that's fine. Just looking kind of relaxed. Uh, we've got... <laughs> wow. Wow, that's another grandma knitted special, that is. Oh, that is absolutely amazing. It's got... it. Joe what as well? Blue and yellow in the middle. Geek covered corporate colours. And... It's wonderful in its own right. Oh, we might be having this. We might be having this. If there's something that's hot pink, we might go for that. But otherwise, we're definitely, definitely going to go for this. That is brilliant. Okay, what else is there? Um, you yeah, kind of stripey thing with a belt in the middle and a jacket. Okay, that's that's all right. Uh, oh, shirt and kind of stuff. That looks a little bit. That's a bit formal. That's a bit formal. And then yes, back to one of grandma's grandma's wonderful knitted efforts. Um, no, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for this. We're going to go for this because not only is it brilliant, not only is it one of uh, one of grandma's absolutely brilliant speciality jumpers, but it does have the blue and yellow of the geek cupboard in there. So, yeah, that seems that seems very appropriate. So, OK, I am ready. You look pretty good, Penge. I feel good. <laughs> Let's go. Who wouldn't look good dressed like this? Who would not look good dressed like that? Let us go. Let us go on an adventure, please. Your life. Has been, has been a giant toot. Toot. <laughs> what does that mean? So far, you spent all of that tooty life on the isolated Aro Island, possibly, where the people are stuffy and there aren't even any ooblids. Oh, boo, Aro Island sounds rubbish. We don't want stuffy people and no ooblids. So maybe let's set sail for lands new, shall we? It looks very lovely. Looks like we're going by boat. That's why you've decided to leave. Farewell, Aro Island, wherever you might be, with your stuffy people and no ooblets. Look at how lovely it is. There we are on the deck of this boat. You're off to the distant shores of mainland Oob. That is brilliant. I'd love it if there was a real place called Oob. That would be a wonderful place to visit. And there we go. So there's us in our jumper. We've put the jumper on. A place you've only heard vague tales of. A fabled land of oddity, creativity, and... I mean, presumably it's not that fabled, because this sailor guy knows how to get there. Oddity, creativity, and... Ooblets. Oh, and look how lovely it all looks. Look how pretty it is. Okay, this place is wonderful. Um, okay. Hello, Mayor Tinsel. How are you? Oh, Biddle Boy. You have an amazing hat, Mayor Tinsel. That is a wonderful hat. Where can I get myself a hat like this? I need one of those. And are they some ooblets I see over here? Oh, they are, they are just amazing. Okay, right, so hello. There's also a person sort of watching us there. Hello, person walking by. So she says, oh, Biddle Boy, are you from the Ooblet High Council? 
No, I am not. Is this a surprise inspection? Did I fail? Uh, no, don't worry about that. I, uh, no, I'm Penge from R.O. Island. Can you not tell by the jumper? Oh, then how do? Welcome to Badge Town. Oh, thank you very much. My name is Tinsel. Oh, and I'm the mayor. What can I help you with? I'm looking to start a new life somewhere. Possibly here? Maybe a bit of planning might have been advised there, Penge, but never mind. Splendor. Were you looking to buy a house? Maybe invest in the local economy? Uh, okay, I don't know. Have I got any money? Well, I have no money or skills or personal possessions. <laughs> You've come out very unprepared for this, Ooblet Penge, but it's fine. I'm sure it'll all sort of fall into your lap. It's okay. A true entrepreneur then. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I can work with this though. Yeah, I've been needing a helper for my ever-expanding mayoral task list. And there's an old abandoned farmhouse you can have if you help me with all the junk I've got to do around here. Absolutely. I help you with odd jobs and you would give me a house. That is splendid. I like this place. I like the land of Oob already. You in? Free houses don't just get offered every day. Absolutely. I'm in. What can I help with first? Fantastic. <laughs> first off, wait, where are your Ooblids? I don't have any. They don't have Ooblids where I'm from. Huh? Not even an Oogum. It's going to be tough to do much of that Ooblids here. Well, your local Ooblet club will probably be able to give you one. What Ooblet club are you in? Uh, there's no Ooblets where I'm from. I'm not going to be in an Ooblet club, am I? Uh, we don't have Ooblet clubs where I'm from either. What sort of... No bother. You can join one here. Let me fetch our local club leaders and you can introduce yourself to some townsfolk in the meantime. Okie dokie. So we're going to go and introduce ourselves to some people. Um, and our objective is to talk to eight people. Um, and, and here we go. So, right, we're in control of us. And this is wonderful. Sea dangle. Oh, I'm going to go sea dangling. Uh, you don't have any bait. Oh, well, that is, that is very unfortunate. Right, where can I get some bait? There's something over there that looks very promising. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be talking to eight people, but there's a shiny thing. What can I do with the shiny thing? Do I click on the shiny thing? Do I press space on the shiny thing? I want to interact with the... How do I interact with anything? Do I right click on things? <laughs> I want to interact with the shiny thing. Maybe I need to talk to some people first. What about this person that keeps wandering up and down the dock? Oh, no, you. Oh, and you. Hello. Hello, you. Ara. Uh, digging your whole deal you've got going on. Very confused chic. Hey. Hey, Grandma. Grandma knitted this. Care for what you say. I'm Penge and I'm new here. My fave type of person. One I don't know yet. I'm Ara. Okay. That's it. Right. Okay. So she just sort of says hello. Uh, okay. Well, let's chat to you, Milu. I'm Milu. I see your boat pulling. So, are you some sort of rich tourist come to buy our postcards and novelty t-shirts? Uh, no, I've set sail to new lands with no money and no skills and no plan. <laughs> Which sounds, you know, kind of about right, really. It's what I would do in real life. Uh, no, I'm Penge and I'm looking to start a new life here. Oh, blah. What am I supposed to do with all these novelty t-shirts? Oh, right. You've got a few novelty t-shirts around, have you? Okay. Can we go down onto the beach? Can we go down? What are they? What are those things? They look amazing. New ooblet spotted clumpers. <gasps> are they following us? Oh my goodness me. We've got a little entourage of clumpers. Oh no, clumpers come back with us. I, I, I like clumpers. I want all the clumpers, please. They this they're very adorable. Look at that. They're like little sort of balls of fluff with spiky things sticking out of them. Um, right, okay. I imagine we'll get to interact with them th things at some other point. Um, I might be getting a little bit ahead of myself there. A new ooblet there. Wiggle whips. Hello, Wiggle Whips. Right, there's nobody else on the beach. We might need to go into the sort of town area. There's some Ooblets there as well. Hello, little Ooblets. They're Lump Stumps. Well, that is brilliant as well. And there's some Ooblets. Fleebles. Okay, let's talk to you, Charles. Hello, Charles. You're standing awfully close to me. Sorry, sorry, I apologise. Oh, hi. I'm Penge and I'm new in town. I suppose you'll be wanting to know my name now, huh? It says it there. It's fine. That's okay. You can tell me when you're ready. Okay, fine. I'm Charles. I make clothes at my shop. Kibon Bon. <laughs> okay. I shake your hand, but I don't do that. Fair enough. Absolutely fine. Okay, let's go and talk to you then. Rugnolia? Are you the research assistant I requested three years ago? Unfortunately not. No, I'm just new here. I'm Penge. Introductions. Okay, sure. I'm Rugnolia, and I operate the Learnery, which serves a variety of purposes too complicated to get into right now. Okay, fine. You're talking down to the newcomer. Gotcha. And if you're going to be sticking around, you should have this. Ooh, you've given me a grumboir. Okay, okay, cool. We've got a little book. I guess we can keep all our information here. Okay, gimme. But say thank you. You keep track of all your tasks, items, friends, that sort of thing. How does it do all that? 
Science and magic and junk. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, you'll figure it all out, or you won't. I have no metric of your aptitude for these sorts of things. I am intrigued as to why the G and the L in her name are in different colours. Is that somehow significant? I don't know. Am I reading too much into it? Open your grumbar with tab. Okay, right, here we go. So it's just a little sort of, it's a logbook, if you like. Um, so there's us in our wonderful jumper. Um, we have, there's a wishing well. We can get clothing, we can get furniture, and there's a kind of question marky thing there. Uh, we've got no stuff. Um, friends? I mean, we've just met these people. I don't know if we class them as you know, exactly friends, but that's fine. So we've met these people here. Ooh, Blitz. We have none of them. Uh, badges? We have none of those, obviously. And then an almanac. I think, are they the ooblets that we've spotted? They're the ooblets that we have seen. Okay, so we don't have any of these, but we've sort of come across them. So yeah, wiggle whips, flea balls, lump stumps, and clompers. And then these we don't know. Oh my goodness me, what are those things? <laughs> oh, that one's like got a, a kind of clockwork key thing in the back. Oh, we need to, I want to go and find all of these. They also look brilliant. I like the look of those things. Um, okay, fine. Thank you very much. So we've talked to four people. Well, let's talk to Polt, because I'm right next to you. So, hello, Polt. How are you? Good hat. Howdy doody. Looking for a bun? Uh, yeah, if they're free. I don't think so. I'm just moving to town. Huh? To Badge Town? Well, I'm Polt, local Bunglebee delivery fella. Here's a little gift from the Bunglebee Company to welcome you to town. Oh, everyone's so lovely here. A Bunglebee bun. Nice and soft, a good source of energy. Contains 40 energy. Okay, give me that. Thank you. They're the finest prepackaged tree bees in Oob. Eat bunglebee buns for a quick and easy boost to your energy and mood, probably. Okay, do we have a mood counter thing and an energy counter? We must do somewhere. Um, I hope I'm allowed on the grass. Um, you look amazing. I mean, what's on your head? I'm not sure. Okay, hi, Taffy. Taffy do. Yes, it's true. Okay then, I'm Penge. Go away now. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Okay. Hello, Mead. How do you, dearie? My number's not up, is it? Crikey, that's a bit, it's a bit uh, terminal, isn't it? Um, I'm Penge. I'm moving to the old farmhouse. Oh, good. I'm Mead, and I run the little gardening shop here. So I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other. If you have any spare produce, you can sell it to me. Okay. And if anyone starts asking too many questions. Tell me first. Okie dokie, will do. So I'm going to be dealing with you a lot because I think we're moving into a farmhouse. So yes, you're the one who's going to be doing lots of sort of stuff with us. There's little things in the water there. Can we can we meet those things? And there's stuff over there as well. Um, okay, who else is there to chat to? Oh, we spotted those little bird things. Uh, Dumburbs. Okay, hello Dumburbs. I think there's only oh, there's someone there. Hello, you look like a sort of a cafe owner type person. Double. Hello. A customer. What can I get you? Bean juice? Spressy? Sorry, I don't actually have any money. Not winning customer of the month so far. <laughs> All right. Well, when you do scrounge up some money, spend it here at Cuddle Cups. I want to go to Cuddle Cups. I want some money. I want to go and buy a drink in Cuddle Cups. I'm double and I said the best and only bean juice in town. It sounds delicious. I mean, it's not tea. It'll probably do. Splendor. Everyone is here now. Oh, check out Space Helmet Guy. Uh, okay, right. Everyone's here. So basically, Uber Clubs are little social groups that each have their own themes and personalities. These are our local Uber Club leaders. I thought I'd let them each give you a quick pitch to see what they're about. Okie dokie. Ooh, she looks a bit grumpy there. Okay, so Frun Buns. We'd love to have you join Frun Buns. We're delightful. The club for sweet cuties who love cute things. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving on here. Peak Snubs don't do pitches. You should be pitching to me. So Peak Snubs and Bittle, the club of born leaders, strong competitors, and just generally successful people. You seem a little bit boasty, Basil. I mean, that doesn't sound like the kind of nice, relaxed, happy place that I want to go to. It sounds a bit stressy. Um, okay, Mim Mimpins and Side Key. <gasps> that was one of those things with the key in them. Um, I don't really know what to say about Mimpins. Or what to do with my hands. Okay. The club for clever people who aren't very good at social interactions. Okay. Or moss sprouts and shrumbo. If you like adventure, the outdoors and nature, you should join me at moss sprouts. The club for woodsy outdoorsy types who love a good adventure. And then we go back to front buns and turd. We'd love to have it front buns. We're delightful. I mean, I'm torn between two. I'm torn between two. I am I'm, I'm either going to go to front buns because... 
the sweet cuties that love cute things. I mean, that sounds brilliant. Or, or the outdoorsy one. The outdoorsy one here. The club for woodsy outdoorsy types who love a good adventure. Because we are going to get a farm. Because, you know, we've been told that we're going to get a farmhouse. And that person by the fountain said, ah, yes, <laughs> we're going to see a lot of you sell me the produce. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. Do we go for moss sprouts? Or do we go for frun buns? Uh, sweet cuties who love cute things. I mean, all of the things are seemingly quite cute here. Um, so frun buns or moss sprouts. Uh, I mean, I do like... He's got video on. And I do like the fact that he is wearing a kind of space helmet with a little aerial on the top. That's very, very good as well. Um, I mean, yeah, we could go for you. The only one that really I've ruled out is this one here. Oh, I feel like this is a really big decision and I don't know what to go for. I think we're going to go for front buns, primarily because they've used the word delightful, which I use quite a bit. So yeah, absolutely. We're going to go for you guys, the club for sweet cuties who love cute things. I mean, it just sounds very adorable. Everyone who goes to that is going to be really nice and happy and jolly, aren't they? So, uh, okay, we'll join you. So there you go. Join front buns. Yes, absolutely. I knew you'd pick us. I'm sorry, other people. It's fine. You know, it, it's nothing against you particularly. I just like the idea of uh, this sort of uh, group here. I knew you'd pick us. I've got the cutest, patootest baby ooblet for you to love and care for. <gasps> Are we going to get an ooblet? Oh, I see. I see. This is your starting ooblet, is it? So whatever you choose, which one of those you pick, you then get an ooblet from them. So we're going to get an ooblet. Who are we going to get? What is it? Oh my goodness me, that is amazing. It's the little one that we saw on the sort of screen where we chose them, but that is brilliant. Oh, you two look like a perfect match, says Mayor Tinsel. That is wonderful. They all run away because they're very, very busy. Now you've got an ooblet, you should try getting into a dance-off. Okay, that sounds just amazing. Okay, ooblets are mysterious creatures and they apparently love dancing. It's very important to them. All we can do is support their interests and set up elaborate, contrived, competitive dance scenarios for them to show off in. <laughs> I do like that. You'll be amazed at the sort of conflicts that get resolved through the medium of dance. Oh, here comes a worthy competitor to let you practice. Okay, let's get our dancing boots on, ooblet uh, friend. Uh, dance challenge from Lump Stump. Yeah, absolutely. Here's where you pick which ooblets you want to dance. You've only got one. Okay, well, absolutely. Yeah, we'll pick you. I can't even remember what, who you are. What's our ooblet called? I have no chance to remember what their name is. Okay, well, we're ready. Whatever you're called, ooblet friend. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> we're in a clearing and there's loads of them just dancing. There's loads of them. And then some of them have got like party glasses on and there's disco lights. Okay, right. Well, I, wa I wasn't expecting this. This is brilliant. Oh, and look at that. I've got the moves. I have absolutely got the moves. Each turn, you draw random dance moves for you to choose from. Okie dokie. You have some basic moves that will always be available. Right you are. So that one is it? I don't know what those ones. Each ooblet also has its own unique move. Okay, so you here, Glaze Glide, you can gain one hype. Okay, I'm sure they'll explain that. With some experience, they can learn new moves. Moves cost beats. You get fresh beats to use every turn. So currently we have three beats. Okay, gotcha. To start with, you'll draw four moves and have three beats per turn. Some moves increase your points, lower your opponents, or do other junk. Okay, the goal is to get to this number of points before your opponent. Okay, so Team Penge, we need to get to 20. Oh, there's Tud. Tud is our, our little uh, buddy there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so who goes first? Us. Um... Okay, let's do a Gavotte Trot. Let's do one of the Gavotte Trots to get us four points. Let's just get off the board. Let's just absolutely get off the board. So yeah, perform that and, oh yes, check out the moves. Okay, now what are you going to do? Or do they not have a go? Do they not have a go? Oh no, end our turn. Um, I don't know what increases the power of dance moves. Oh, we possibly should have done that first. Never mind. Right, we'll do that now. So increases the power of dance moves, gain one hype. So we'll perform that. So you're now doing some sort of hype stuff. Okay, and now we'll end our turn. Yeah, let's earn three points and five points. We've done ourselves out of some points there. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, we're, we're completely new to, <laughs> we're completely new to ooblet dance-offs. Okay, end our turn, their turn. They're doing the dainty dip. My goodness me, it was so dainty. Right, our turn. Um, okay, uh, gain a beat. That's free. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll absolutely do that. So we'll do Rhythm and Grow. A little bit of a jive there. Splendid. Everyone, everyone just jumps in. Yeah, this is brilliant. Um, 
And that earns us eight points. Flip Floss gets us eight points. I see no reason to not do that. Oh, yes. Check out those moves. And then we'll just do a little Lindy. A little tiny bit of Lindy there. Some weird purple stuff comes out the ground. And that's it. We can't do um, Takey Tap Tap. Which is a shame, because I would have liked to have seen the Takey Tap Tap move. But there we go. Right, their turn. Uh, Glissade Parade. They get five points. And now our turn. What do we need? Five more points. Um, I mean, we could... We could just do the Gavotte Trot and get five points. Let's do that. Boom. We do that. We get our five points. And we have taken victory in the dance-off. You win. <laughs> we are the lords of the dance. Tud earned 40 XP. That is brilliant. Get a seed from Lump Stump. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's get a seed from you, Lump Stump. If that's allowed. There we go. Good job, little Lump Stump. You did great. Oh, and look, we're, we're just giving praise to our competitor there because he tried very hard. Hey, you can be proud. Yay, very happy. Lump Stump Seed, plant me to grow a new friend. Okay, so we can grow an Ooblet. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, can we take that? Make sure we pick that up before we leave. Easy peasy, says Mayor Tinsel. Anywho, you should head to your farmhouse now and get settled in. Okay, where is it? I don't know where it is. Can you show me the way? <laughs> Meet Tinsel at the farmhouse. Okay, how do we do this? I mean, there's, there's things around here that I kind of want to click on, but I don't know, like, I, I don't think I'm allowed to yet. I think I'm still in tutorial land. But, I mean, that book is obviously, it's shining. It's got shiny kind of things coming off it. So, you know, I kind of want to go and pick that up. Let's go and have a little look around. Now, I didn't go up the stairs. I didn't go up the steps. What's up the steps? Can we just have a little look? I know the arrows are telling me... Oh, oh, it's not letting me go. I shouldn't go running off just yet. Okay, right, yeah. I'm still in tutorial land. It's absolutely fine. Let's just sort of head this way and see where we're going to go. Oh, what's that? Hello? Who are you? Oh, I can't do anything with you. Uh, you look like you're running a sort of a uh, little farm shop type thing. Is that a farm shop? I mean, there's, yeah, there's watering cans and seeds and flowers and things. Okay, let's go over here. Right, is this the route to our farmhouse? Oh, there, farmhouse, farm shed, possibly. <laughs> Can we make that a bit bigger? House. Yes, in the loosest technical sense of the word, yes, it is a house. Okay, that's fine. Um, it's not much right now. Yep, you're not wrong. Uh, but what do you expect for a free house? Indeed, it's absolutely free. I'm sure you'll be able to fix it up, and make it real pretty. Maybe add some bunting. Bunting always helps. Absolutely. Bunting is very important. Bunting makes everything look better. And um, Wow, what a junkyard. Uh, I mean, a very unique property with a lot of potential. <laughs> no, no, junkyard. I bought you a couple of things to get you started with your mm, farm. Okay, sweetie beety seeds. Three of those. So a sweet root vegetable which can be used to create frubtose. Takes three days to grow. Okay, and a scraper. Okay, right, so a bit of farming equipment. Give it a shot. Just don't dig deeper than six feet down anywhere around here why what happens if you dig deeper than six feet down what happens i now must know the answer to this <laughs> you use that and that choose different items in your hot bar select the dirt scraper oh okay right so i can move around down there press q to enable farming mode this will help you select the land you want to work on oh yes this is wonderful um okay so press space to use the dirt scraper on the piece of land highlighted in the viewfinder thing <laughs> okay yeah there look so that's going to use up some energy is it because it's got five little energy things okay so we do that do we have an energy bar of some description uh we'll go there and we'll go across there so yeah it looks like something happened there okay so change the thing and then pressing Q enables farming mode. But I think we should still be in farming mode. Yeah, we're still in farming mode. So point at that. So plant sweetie beeties, plant the sweetie beeties, and then plant the sweetie beeties. Right, we've planted some sweetie beeties. Uh, we possibly need to water them. Oh, there you go. You just need to water it. Here's a dribbly can you can use. This is amazing. It's a dribbly can. A basic dribbler, absolutely. A basic dribbler will do the job. Uh, oh, she's gone. Oh, no, she's pointing where to fill it up. Fill it up with water from the tap here and use it to water the seeds. Absolutely. That's how growing stuff works. Okay. So pop over to here. Um, fill. 
Lovely. And it fills up to the top. And then press Q to re-enter farming mode. Whoa, hang on. Farming mode has sent that a bit bonkeroids. And, um, and yeah, because we're holding the watering can, we just do watering of things. Okay, and there. And then we go over like that. And we water that one as well. Splendid. That's it. Farming is absolutely fine. You've got it. Now all you have to do is water the crops each day and harvest them once they're fully grown. Okie dokie. You're already a pro at farming. Yeah, maybe semi-pro. You'll improve. Yeah, I mean it wasn't tricky. Anywho, you must be pretty tired, so get some rest and I'll check in on you tomorrow morning. Okie dokie. Can I please have your hat? Okay. So, I mean, it has got dark. It's got dark, so yes, it is. It is night time now. Um, are there, I was going to say, where's our little ooblet running around? But there we are. Go to sleep. Um, okay, I'm intrigued with uh, with C of, of decorate mode. You need to fix up your house first. Okay, let's go into our house. And um, yeah, it's not glamorous, is it? It's not glamorous. We've got ourselves a little stove thing. Hang on, can we not hold that in our hands? There we go. So a little stove thing. Where we can cook. Oh, we can cook some food. We cook food. So, oodles. What's that? Uh, needs button boy, borgus, and muzz. <laughs> I love this. All the names are completely, completely just, you know, made up and bizarre. Um, Froob, toast, and quib. And that needs a karoot. Well, at least that's grounded in real life. And some muzz flour. And then there's some stuff that we can't do because I guess we're just not able to do that yet due to levels or skills or whatever okay so we can cook a bit of food and then we've got ourselves a little case so i guess we can put out ah, we can put stuff in the case okay that's good um okay let's go to sleep let's just let's just follow the tutorial thing i mean if we could buy a nicer bed that would be advantageous wouldn't it there we go a lovely night's sleep Sunlight pouring in through the windows. We are ready for another exciting day here in Oob in Badge Town. Right, water your plants again. Absolutely, yes. Okay, so farming mode and we'll go actions like watering use up your energy. Okay, yes, now I saw this. Where is our energy? Is it up there? We've now got this thing up in the corner. You can see how much energy you have here. Okie dokie. You can get your energy back by sleeping, drinking bean juice, and eating certain foods. Yes, we got given something, didn't we? Something that uh, gives us some energy. Okay, so how much is it when we do this? It is one energy. Is that it? So how much are we losing up there? Oh, hardly anything. Hardly anything up there has gone down. Okay, that's fine. Go, ex <laughs> go explore around a bit or something. Okay. <laughs> We'll just, we'll just go exploring or something. That's absolutely fine. Um, okay, nice, nice farm area. Nice, nice tree. Ooh. Oh, over there looks like it could do with a bit of work. Can we, are we able to sort of hack at this with this thing? Are we able to sort of remove those things there? What if we did that snap? Okay, can we do that? Okay, that does use up a chunk of energy. Uh, and we're not, ah, there we go. We snapped it. Okay, cool, a planklet tiny bits of wood okay give me that and our energy has come down a little bit now hang on didn't we have a seed that we could plant that grows us an ooblet i believe we did let's put it uh let's put it over oh we can't cross oh right it has to be on this side of the path oh okay all our farm stuff is on this side of the path okie dokie um let's go over to there we'll till that and then we've got this just here haven't we this sort of seed thingamajigger so let's plant that a lump stump and then we'll go to there and we'll water the lump stump thing oh I, did i miss the thing entirely hang on <laughs> don't water just there water there it looks like i'm missing completely okay that, i'm sure it's fine i'm sure that's okay uh okay so come out of farming mode don't hold that thing either there we go uh okay so yeah there's a lot of stuff down here that we yeah it's sort of all in the way and there's little weird roots and whatnot we can't really do anything about can we go around here and have a look at the bottom end of the farm yes we can okay so we can get round uh it's quite big it's quite a big farming space crikey so we have loads of stuff in here uh okay right so i've explored the farm maybe we need to stop exploring the farm and go explore somewhere else 
Okay, wandering about in the town, there's somebody here called Fubfree. Hello, Fubfree. Have you seen little Shrumbo wandering around here? He wriggled out of his baby bonnet, and now we're missing our daily tea party. You're going to have to remind me what a Shrumbo looks like. I'm not entirely sure. Um, if you see him, he answers to Princess Sparklebuns, and is generally very uncooperative. <laughs> Splendid. Okay, so if we see one of those things around, then uh, then yes, we could possibly lend a hand and bring it back. What is that there? There's something there. What is that? We can pick that? A clothlet. A valuable clothy resource. Okay, so we've picked up a little sort of bit of cloth. Cost us a bit of energy, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, okay. Right. Oh, hang on. That lit up as well. Inspect that. I don't think I can use this just yet. Okay. Never mind. Never mind, Ooblet Penge. Um, okay, let's have a wander around this place then. What can we find around here? I mean, there's the mayor. Hello, mayor. Um, help Tinsel with this task. A reopen Town Hall. Gets you access to Tinsel's task board. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that seems like a logical thing to do. I mean, I'm supposed to be helping you. You did give me a lovely house or a shed. Nice. You found the town again. Yeah, wasn't tricky. <laughs> Dear. You probably noticed my open office layout. Uh, and that is cardboard boxes. Turns out an aggressive little clicky clause has made Town Hall its home. Every time I try to go in, it starts biting my ankles. I guess they voted for the other guy. Maybe if you make a big show of beating him in a dance battle, it'll be enough to get him to leave so I can start using my office. Be prepared. They're right on the other side of this door. Oh, absolutely. I am prepared. Got my dancing shoes on right now. Let's go in and get get some grooves on. Right, where is a clicky claws? Ah, oh, no, they're, they're right on the other side. Ooh, dance challenge on clicky claws. It looks a little bit mean. Yes, absolutely. Right, we'll pick you. So, okay, let's have a go then. So, what are you called? Turd or something. I forgot what you're called. Um, Okay. Oh, we didn't get a special move this time. Okay, let's go for... Let's go for a Gavot Trot. Because that gets us three points. I steal three points. Let's go for that then. So we'll earn three points from a Gavot Trot. Woo! Up it goes. So we're, yeah, we're off, off the marks. And then we'll do this one as well. We'll do that. So that just gets us up to, what, six. Which is nice. A nice solid start there. And then our turn ends. What can you do? One point. Okay, try harder. Try harder. And another one point. Oh, Team Clicky Claws. Right, let's do this. Gaze Glide. Perform that. We show off. We get hype. But also now all of our dances are worth more things. Um, add a move to your hand. Gain one hype. Or Lil Lindy earn three points. Uh, okay, let's do that. We'll do that one. And go, yay. Right, can we keep the beat? If we end our turn, do we keep that beat and carry it over? I don't know. We'll see. So we've got one. What are they doing? They're gaining a point from a marginal mamba. <laughs> and then a dainty dip got them three points. No, we don't carry it over. We just have three each time. Okay, that's fine. Right, Gavot Trot, please. And boom, lovely. And then we've got one. So we'll do a Lil Lindy again. Lil Lindy, bit of a twizzle. Stuff comes out the floor. Absolutely fine. Right, end our turn. This is going to be a doddle. They're not even at 10 and we're on 17. Oh, there you go. They've crept up to 10. Welcome to double figures there. But uh, we need, what do we need? Three more. Um, we could do this. Let's steal some points off them, shall we? Let, oh no, that's not very nice though. No, let's not do that because that's, that's not nice. Go back. Let's, oh, hang on. That's the only thing we can do. That's the only thing we can do. I don't want to have to steal points off them. Oh, we might have to, hang on, hang on. Can we add a move to our hand? Okay, what does that do? So we do a thing and we get a move. Does that mean we don't have to... Oh, there we go. We can do a Gavot Trot. And that means we don't have to resort to theft. We don't have to resort to theft. Because we're in the nice club or whatever it was. We're in the one that's happy and nice and friendly. So stealing seems a little bit bad. But there you go. Tud has earned another 40 XP. Get a seed from Clicky Claws. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Let's get a Clicky Claws seed. <laughs> Clicky Claws looks very angry. Good job, little Clicky Claws. You did great. Now get out of here. <laughs> And out comes a little kind of planty thing. Lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, grab that. And away we go. I knew you could do it. I totally hadn't come to terms with the permanence of my cardboard outdoor office. Now that I can use Town Hall, we can get started on all the projects I have planned to save Badge Town. Save it? Is it under threat in some way? Here's what I'm thinking. Dramatic camera angle going on just there. 
Okay, so what are these tasks you're going to give us? So fix the friendship sticky printy press, a uh, sticker printy press, repair the old farmhouse, absolutely on that, help Rugnolia start her Ooblet research project, we spoke to her earlier, and then reconstitute all the mystery cans. What is a mystery can? I don't know what one of those is. How about repairing the old farmhouse? Given that I live there, it might be quite good to actually repair it. So yes, help Tinsel with this task, Repair the old farmhouse. Get settled into town by fixing up your musty, decrepit shack into a less terrible shack. Hooray for a less terrible shack. Um, find the beacon for this task in world to accept it. Oh, right. There's now beacons around the place. Okay. I know there's a lot to do, so we should probably start with some of the easier ones. First thing you should do is fix up your house. Absolutely. It's a bit of an eyesore. Okay. Sorry. You can also see what else needs to be done by walking around town. Okie doke, so we can walk around town and find stuff. Anywho, I'll be moving into my new office here if you need me. I think I'll be okay. Um, maybe we could go back and, yeah, maybe look at our house. Reopen Town Hall. Oh, little funky dance there. I like that. Okay, and now we're in Town Hall. Lots of confetti. That's very good. Uh, what is there then? What's that? What is this? What's here? Um, Woodlands is... Oh, can you put things in here? You can put, what, seeds? Can you put seeds in here? You can't actually put the animals in it because that would seem a little bit kind of weird, wouldn't it? Okay, we'll have to we'll have to see what that's about. Uh, can we go around and look around the place? Zuffle's office. Who's Zuffle? Can we go and talk to Zuffle? I don't know who Zuffle is. Um, right. Zuffle lives here. <laughs> There's a bed. Okay, fine. Right, Zuffle isn't home right now. Where's the actual mayor's office? That's locked. Okay, and that's Tinsel's office. Okay. Okay, what does your office look like? Oh, it is very grand indeed. I mean, the only thing is, the only thing I would say about this room, it's all lovely. It's got lovely wooden floors and this sort of round rug thing is very bright. You've got lovely orange curtains, green walls. I would say that your boring colour of filing cabinet brings the room down a notch. I mean, you could have gone for something nicer than just a boring kind of grey. But never mind. But right, she's not home either. Uh, okay, right, let's go back to our farmhouse. Let's pop back to the farmhouse and we'll start trying to repair that because that's one of our tasks. And it also seems like a prudent one because, yeah, we do live there. Oh, hang on. Hang on, what are you doing? You're collecting some... Ah, hang on, can I have that? Can I, can I pick up some rubbish off the ground? There we go, a mystery can. Okay, I'll have a mystery can. Can I just pick up all the mystery cans? Because that means I might be able to use them for... Like, you know, if I can scrap them and have a load of metal, that might be quite useful. Because then I can build things. Hang on, yeah, can we just keep doing this? Yes, just pick up all the cans. Many, many cans. <laughs> How many cans are there? Good grief. Um, I mean, you can clean up the that weird thing that's underneath. That's absolutely fine. Oh, it's gone. Arvin, it's fine. You don't need to thank me. I wish someone would try to win my affection by giving me gifts every day. I better, I do <laughs> guess I better just get a job. Absolutely. Uh, okay, right, let's head back to the farm. Okay, there are some different things. So it looks like we have got ourselves some mail. So two pens from Ara. Oh, okay, right. Yes, she, we, we met her on the, on the sort of by the beach. It took me uh, way too long to figure this out. So you might not know yet. You can find nernies in rocks laying around your farm. Best way to get them. Here are a couple I've already found. What's a nerny? I don't know what a nerny is. Um, precious little bits. Oh, it's, you know, sort of component type stuff. Just nernies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful so they're in rocks okay hang on there's a rock just oh hang on there's a weed there's a weed in the ground no that's that's not acceptable hang on enter farming mode can we do something about that weed um yeah weed absolutely get rid of that weed thank you very much that's not good enough i don't want a weed there thank you right come out of farming mode um can we can we put something away yeah there we go um so yeah what how do we turn over a rock then do we have to go back into farming mode and do that? So we break. We've got loads of energy left. Let's try and smash that rock. And again. Boom. And again. Boom. And we got some more nernies. We got four nernies. So it did take quite a bit of our energy. But we have got ourselves some nernies, which is wonderful. Okay. Right. We've got some nernies. And then there's a magic glowing box thing just here as well. What is this? Repair the old farmhouse. Get settled in the town by fixing up your musty, decrepit shack to a less terrible shack. Yes. What do we need? Farmhouse repair kit. So we need some fabric. We need some, ah, some nernies. And we need planklets. Right, okay. I mean, we can add those. We can add the nernies and we can add the one bit of fabric we found. 
So we're looking all right. We're, we've made a start. We've made a start on repairing the farmhouse. Uh, okay, right. What else can we do then? Uh, how about, well, we can always sort of, you know, smash up some bits of wood and what have you. Do you know what we could do, actually? Um, hang on. Get that. Let's go and fill that back up again. I like how we're carrying around a full watering can of water with us everywhere we go. Uh, you know, that's 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 really practical, isn't it? Right. Let's let's bash this thing apart. Let's try and snap that thing. We've got loads of energy left. So there we go. Right. So some bits of wood come to us. Lovely. And then we'll try and smash this stone. Oh, we're smashing that stone away. Okay, fine. We'll smash that stone. Ah, some cloth came out of that stone. And we'll break this one as well. So destroy you. Uh, a round kind of looking thing came out of that. Um, and then we'll get... Let's get this as well. Let's uh, karate chop that thing. And boom. And bits of wood. Okay. So is that good enough? I mean, this is good because we're also clearing down the farm as well. Right. Deposit all. So we've got all the nernies we need. We need wood. And we need bits of cloth. So clothlets. Okay. Where are we going to find those? I'm not entirely sure. What if we hack apart one of these things? What if we ruin one of those? Oh, no, I didn't, no, not there. There. Do the weeds, does that bring anything up if we do some weeding? Uh, oh, we brought up a thing. A sweetie beety seed. Okay, that's not exactly going to be helpful, is it? How are we going to get the cloth stuff? I do not know. Okay, let's snap some more logs in half. Because then we can at least get the log bit sorted. And that bit there. Hiya, Hadouken and Hadouken. Okay, right, so some more logs have come our way. So deposit that. Right, deposit all the logs. Oh, we need two more. We need two more. Okay, right. Hang on. Let's just go and get some more logs. There we go. Two planklets. Lovely. So then we can just drop them off in the repair kit. So deposit all. Um, and then, yeah, where do we get the clothlets from then? Is there, is there something we can do over here? Is there something we can do? Oh, no, right. That brings us back to the farm. Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do to get clothlets. I mean, that, that has got moss on the top. Does that help? Does that give us any clothlets coming out of that or not? That was just four nernies. And the nernies are all random little sort of funny little bits and pieces, which I do like. That's very good. Okay, right. It looks like we're going to have to go... Can I get these things? Can I get those things there? No. It looks like we might have to go a-wandering to find the cloth bits and bobs. Um, okay, let's go and have a little explore. We did find one bit just lying on the ground, didn't we? Maybe there are some more... I don't think this is a clothlet, but I think we can pick up whatever that thing is. It looks like a little kind of mushroomy thing. Uh, a button boy, a fatty mushroom, can be used in soups and things. Contains three energy. Okay, right, so we can plant that. We can grow some of those. Uh, right, okay, anybody seen any cloth anywhere? Can we get our hands on some cloth, please? Hope it's just sort of lying around the place. And now we can go and look at things. Yeah, so let's look at that mysterious glowing book. What's that about? A recipe piece. A bit of paper with some bits of a recipe on it. Hopefully a full load of bits. Okay, lovely. Right, so we've picked up a recipe. And then also... Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, we can, oh, we can pet them. We can pet them. Yes, absolutely. Hello, whatever you are. Twiglet or whatever you are. I don't know what you are. Right, do they follow us? And only for a certain degree. Okay. Um, right, let's come back over to the, uh, let's go over this way to the beach because there was a shiny thing over here, wasn't there? Yes, I want that. I want that shell, please. A curly horn, an uncommon seashell. It's beautiful. And then can we just pick up that one as well? A shell bow, a pretty gift from the sea. Maybe we can put that in our house or something. Um, okay, I'm still none the wiser on to how to get cloth. Hello, Nerna. Have you got any ideas? I'm a sculptor who uses dirty clothes as my medium. My bedroom is <laughs> my studio. My mother is my biggest critic. Okie dokie. Uh, okay, right. Let's go and search for cloth. Maybe we should go up the stairs. Okay, we can actually get up the stairs this time. And there are a whole load of houses. There's all sorts of different styles of houses. A kind of modern looking thing here. Kind of like a, a creepy looking haunted house just there. That looks very traditional. That's a barn of some description. I still cannot see any cloth in any places but yeah it's fine we'll have a little explore what is in there i wonder what is this indeed what is that what a sturdy gate oh it's just just a sturdy gate that looks like a box where we might have to put things there is a mysterious bucket hello mysterious bucket we got one gummy should we be stealing from people's buckets possibly not but never mind we just did well what was that we can pick that thing up as well what is this spore bay 
It's like a lollipop made out of mould. <laughs> You're not selling it. It's a good source of quick energy. It contains 10 energy. Okie dokie. This is all very good, but where do I get cloth? I, I need four clothlets and I don't know where to go. There's somebody over here with a hot air balloon look, but it's all deflated. I imagine you are going to want us to help you sort that out. Gimble. Hello, Gimble. How do you sprout? You look like you're up for an adventure. Oh, always. I just moved to town. My name's Penge. You do like telling everybody your name, uh, Penge, in this game. Sounds like you're already on an adventure. I'm Gimble. Once I get my hot air balloon fixed, I'll be able to show you all around Oob. That sounds wonderful. That gives me extra incentive to try and get stuff sorted because I'd love a little hot air balloon tour around the land of Oob. Okay, I mean, the hour is getting late. It's getting a little bit dark around here, but we can shake a tree for 10 energy. I wonder if clothlets fall out of the tree. We are running a bit low on energy. Right, we might need to give it another shake. Oh, it might be one more shake required. Right, has anything fallen out? We got a quib. Okay, is that good? We've got ourselves a handful of the quibs. But we did not get ourselves any clothlets. Oh, there's a glowing thing just there. Hello, glowing thing. What's that? The incidental remains. The incidentals remain unalerted to the presence. Operations continuing as planned. Operative. What is this? Some sort of strange secret message type thingamajigger. Okay, that's intriguing. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, well, there's a wishy well. What can we do here? 75 wishes. Oh my goodness me, you can you can make wishes. We have no wishes, but you can get things by spending wishes. Okay, well that's very exciting. However, it still doesn't help us. It still does not give us any clothlets. Okay, our energy is looking a bit low. We're a little bit tired and there is a giant policeman. Hello, Officer Zuffel. You are enormous. Hi there. How are you? I thought I'd come down here and talk to you. Is that you, Plubbard? No, you're not, Plubbard. Who are you? I'm Penge. I just moved to town, as I'm telling everybody. Well, how do then? I'm Chief Officer Zuffel, Chief of Police, Postmaster, Notary Public, and Chief Commissioner of Woods and Forests. My goodness me, that's a very long job title. Welcome to town, and let me know if you find out whatever happened to Plubbard. Okay, who is Plubbard? I don't know who it is. Uh, okay, right, let's head back home, I think. Oh, we can't get home that way. Let's head home and have a sleep, and we'll wake up in the morning, and we shall continue our quest to see if we can find any of these cloth lit things. Oh, hang on, what's that? Is that one? That might be some. Please tell me there's more than one. Okay, maybe they are just dotted around the place and I'm just being really oblivious to them. I do not know. Right, let's go and have a sleep. And then when we come back, when we wake up, we'll go this way and we'll see if we can find any cloth lits that I've been you know, really obviously missing. Oh my goodness me, so when we go to sleep, we get a little kind of day events kind of thing. So we're level one, we've got 83 out of 200 XP. Uh, we've planted some seeds, which gave us some XP. We found some things, which is good. That gave us some XP. We found all sorts of random bits and bobs. Um, and we won two dance battles as well, obviously, because we're the king of the dance. Um, okay, well, that's good. Right, so continue. These Ublets have been spotted today. Okay. Oh, that one. I like that one. That one looks very good. Uh, okay, I did good. And then presumably we just have a nice night's sleep and we wake up. Right, let's continue wandering around the town. And now I know what I'm looking for. Oh, start collecting wishes. Earn them from completing daily goals, earning badges, completing tinsel tasks and winning dance tournaments. Absolutely. Okay, spend wishes at the wishy well in town. Yes, we saw this earlier. As you level up, you'll unlock new wishy well options. Okay, at the moment we can only do those. But yes, in the future we can get these things down here. Okay, that's fine. A basic sprinkler seems like a good thing. Right, let's go wander around town and see if I can now... F oh, hang on. Post. Okay, hang on. I think you might be interested. I got a new fanny pack in stock if you're looking to increase how much stuff you can carry. Churls. Okay, right. Now, the UK viewers will find this a bit funny, but I'm just going to be entirely dignified through this and just say, yep, the fanny pack, it's a thing you can wear and you can store stuff in it. <laughs> well, there's a thing. A cloth plant seed. Now, I wandered around town, couldn't find anything. So I came back to the farm and I thought, well, hang on a minute. We chopped at the wood and we got ourselves the wooden planks and then we bashed the rocks apart. And we got ourselves the little sort of widgety gadgety things like the springs and whatnot. And then I thought, well, the, maybe the weeds, they're the only thing left. Maybe if we dig up enough weeds, we might find some little sort of cloth thingamajiggers in there. So we don't actually have them yet. We're going to have to grow them. So we're going to have to grow the seeds. A valuable clothy resource takes three days to grow. Okay, and how many of those, how many of those have we got? Uh, stuff. Let's go to that. 
Um, oh, we really do need to actually get some more some more space for storage, don't we? We're carrying an awful... I mean, we are carrying a lot of junk. We're carrying loads of cans around. Um, a cloth plant seed. Yeah, I think... I think we go and grow those cloth plants. That's very important. Let's get that done now. Right, so we've got four of them, I think. So that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. So there we go. And then... Right, how do we switch stuff onto that sort of row at the bottom? Right, hang on. We can just do that then, can we? Can we switch that on into there, like that? And then that means we've got the cloth plant seeds. There you go. So clothlets. Plant, 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 like so. And then we need to go to the watering can. Give them a spot of water. Give that one a spot of water. Give that one a bit of water as well. This is very nice. <laughs> I do like this. It's been quite therapeutic and calming about this sort of thing. And then one there. And then a little bit just there. Okay, so they're all watered. And of course, this one here needs a bit of water. <gasps> a little lump stump has appeared. Hello, lump stump. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> that seems familiar. It's Lump Stump, a woodsy ooplet found in the forest around Badgetown. Scientists are divided on classifying Lump Stump's head branches as ears or horns. Ears. I would say ears, absolutely. And I'm a qualified, I'm a qualified ooplet scientist. So, well, yeah, there ears. I know it. Do you now follow us around? Hang on. Do you now just trail us around? Oh, you do. And that is just brilliant. Okay, so it might take us a while to get the rest of the clothlets we need. I mean, I may well have walked past some and I've not noticed, but you know, I think maybe we're supposed to do this. Maybe we're supposed to grow these and it can be a little lesson for, you know, how to grow the plants and the things you can find and what have you. So, uh, so there we go. Right, so we've got to wait for those to grow. And I think what we'll do is we shall call it for now. We'll call it apart for now, but absolutely, we are coming back to this. We are going to do as much as we can in this because this, <laughs> this is wonderful. I've got a little farm and we've not really got started. We've not really got started. We need to do our house. We need to repair this. And then um, yeah, we can build things inside it because there is a decorate mode. So once we've actually patched this up and we've stopped it leaking and we've you know, got rid of the holes in the walls and everything else, we can then do, do, you know, start decorating this. So we can maybe put down some carpets or some shelves or you know, make it just look pretty. Just put some like your furnishings around the place. Just make it look nice. Just make it look all sorts of pretty. Uh, and then, of course, we've got to figure out exactly yeah, exactly what the other jobs are, because there are loads of other jobs that we can be getting on with as well. Um, and we've got to do some more farming. We need to look after these things. We need to collect some more of the ooblets. We could do with sort of you know, clearing this place out and you know making it all look very nice and getting all the ground sort of tilled and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty to do. And, of course, we did find that very odd kind of mysterious note as well, didn't we, on the um, on the side there on that bench which seemed to imply that there was some sort of spy around the place. It seemed like a kind of secret spy message. So maybe that will form part of the, you know, the greater sort of story of the game itself. But uh, but yeah, we'll absolutely come back to this because this is all sorts of wonderful. It's just colourful and vibrant and happy and wonderful and, you know, just joyous and, and delightful in all manner of ways. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. We're coming back to this because it is very, very brilliant indeed. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I really hope you have because it has been an absolute pleasure to play. If you did enjoy it, then please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time out here in Ooblets. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I We'll see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.